Listen, Camille, I'd, I'd love to help out, but I'm not, well, not much of a pool player. Oh, honey, you're not going to be playing. You're going to be going undercover as a chalk girl. All you have to do is wander around the floor wearing a tight dress and a lovely smile and chalk on a chain. <laughs> I mean, there's something else that the tournament needs. Maybe a, how about a score girl? Or I know maybe I could be a rat girl. <laughs> rat girl? Don't flatter yourself. <laughs> <laughs> your own office, you still wouldn't be allowed to smoke in it. Can't you just quit that disgusting habit? No. <laughs> I've come a long way, baby, and I'm alive with pleasure. Well, the whole discussion is moot anyway. I just don't have an office I can spare you. Yes, you do. Jed Seidel from Human Resources died this weekend. <laughs> Jed died? Uh -huh. Really? Good morning, Camilla. I come bearing sad news. Oh. <laughs> One of our beloved colleagues... I already claimed Jed's office. What? Camilla. No, I deserve it. My office is too small. I, I need more space. I'm bigger than you are. I need more space. I breathe more air. Well, if you're using more than your fair share of the planet's resources, perhaps we should just shoot you. <laughs> a rest before I shoot you both. And not to kill either. Just in the kneecaps. So you writhe around on the ground, begging me to finish you off. I mean, shot. It's not so bad. <laughs> get out of here. Come on. I don't care which of you takes Jed's office. Just as long as you get out of mine. I'm an editor, not a landlord. Hey, okay, but you know that you... Wait, if I... Goodbye. Goodbye. I know how to settle this. Where I come from, if someone dies, everyone in the village is free to claim the dead guy's hut by placing their hands on it. After several days, whoever's left standing, still touching the hut, becomes the rightful owner. You were born in Sherman Oaks. So I saw it at the mall. Someone kept their hands on a brand new Chrysler minivan and three days later, drove off in it. Okay, you can't honestly be suggesting that we keep our hands on Jed's desk until one of us collapses. Oh, I can flip you for it. Literally. <laughs> I'll meet you in Jed's office at noon. Make it one o'clock. I gotta wipe the fingerprints from my new Chrysler minivan. <laughs> of advice. You're trying to get a guy's attention, sit at the bar, lose the laptop, and stir your drink with your finger. What are you doing here, Jake? Grabbing a cold one before band practice? No, tournament's tomorrow night. I figured it wouldn't hurt to reacquaint myself with old Mahogany Joe. Why is it that men feel compelled to name anything longer than it is wide? <laughs> Pride of ownership, I guess. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> what is that? It's from the color of money. You know, Tom Cruise, Paul Newman. You ever decide to fall out of love with yourself, Jake? I've got the name of a good therapist. Could have fooled me. <laughs> You know, you should, you should try aiming just a little bit higher on the cue ball. I thought right, you didn't I, play. Me, no, no, I don't. But, you know, when, when I was married to Leland, uh, he and his buddies used to play pool, and I used to sit around and, and watch them, you know, and, until they'd ask me to leave. I guess they found me a little distracting, something about being too chatty. Who knows? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> All right, why don't you keep an eye on old Mahogany Joe and uh, Shark Sullivan? I'll teach you a few tips when he gets back.
don't have a prayer. My victory will be swift. I grew up in a house with seven children and six chairs. I can stand here forever. You see, you're only looking at my physical form. At this moment, my astral self is off enjoying the Van Gogh exhibit at the Getty. Oh, Harris, for Pete's sake, there you are. I need you to... <laughs> what is going on here? We decided whoever could keep their hands on Jed's desk the longest could keep his office. Oh, well, good. I'm glad to see you're settling it like adults. <laughs> ah, irises. Van Gogh's sense of color and texture is exhilarating. I wonder what's in the gift shop. Oh, God. Not his astral self. Harris, I've got five stories here on hold waiting for your signature. Yes, Harris. Take your hand off the desk and sign the papers. That won't be necessary. You see, while pursuing my master's in anthropology, I taught Coco the Gorilla conversational Latin. She, in turn, taught me how to use my big toe as an opposable digit. Keep the pen. You know, Harris, you're looking a little tired. I can sleep standing up like a horse. Well, let me send you off into dreamland with a soothing ancient lullaby my grandmother used to sing to me. I won't be needing any chalk. I just lost. Yeah, I know. Missed some pretty easy shots, too. Off the record, anybody uh, ask you to take a dive? Oh, you there, chalk girl. You I'm Margaret Taylor, the shoot billiards, not bullets tournament organizer. Are you aware that you are standing outside the designated chalk girl zone? I guess I've been a naughty chalk girl. Yes, <laughs> you have. Chalk girls must follow three rules. One, never leave the designated chalk zone. Two, do not upset or anger the celebrity players. And three, even though you may get the urge because he's so adorable, do not even think about lifting Gary Coleman. Hey, Nora, how's the uh, chalk thing going? I'd rather be pouring pitchers at Hooters. <laughs> I, I think that she's on to me, Jake. No, no, you look pretty convincing. Hey, uh... How come you never wear this little number at work? We don't use much chalk at work, Jake. You know, that's that's always bothered me. Hey there, sweet thing. How about a little chalk for the old stick? <laughs> Listen, pal, I he, can't tell you how many hours of pleasure you have given me over the years. <laughs> After I win this thing, what do you say I give you a few more? <laughs> oh, 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 Gary. I'd say don't hold your breath. Ladies and gentlemen, we are about to begin our next match. Please join me in welcoming TV's beloved Gary Coleman. <laughs> Mr. Coleman will be playing amateur contestant number 26, Jake Sullivan. <laughs> Coleman, you're going down. How do you get that move? Jump school? Oh. oh, I can't even see anything out of this. No, you're gonna have to go out there and take my place. Well, no, 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 no. I can't play, no, I mean, well, that's not true. I mean, I can play, but I can't, no. I can't, I can't play. What? Jake, the other night when I told you that I couldn't play pool, I lied, okay? That story about Leland and his sharpshooting buddies, I didn't watch them. I annihilated them. <laughs> and 
Michael Milken ran out of money, he wagered his hair. <laughs> and I took it. Nora. Ow. Oh. Oh, look, Jake, you don't understand. I mean, back in college, I'd wake up mornings after a feverish night at the pool hall with balled up 20s in my pockets. <laughs> I had no idea how they got there. <laughs> Who stick I'd used, <laughs> how many games I'd played. All I knew is that I'd won, and I didn't care how. You have to go out there, or we're going to lose the story. Hey, hot dog. <laughs> Crowd's getting restless. You lucked out, pal. I can't play. No, oh, I knew that. <laughs> Hey, look, a forfeit is still a win in my book. Say, Babylicious, I don't need it, but I sure love to watch you do it. How about a little more chalk? Okay, that's it. Chalk girl is dead, and so are you, Coleman. Out there, rack them up. <laughs> By the way, I have a passing knowledge of Korean, and that lullaby was just pure gibberish. I never said it was Korean. I just said my grandmother used to sing it to me. It's been over 24 hours. If this ridiculous contest does not end by morning, I'll... I'll change this room into a quaint little bed and breakfast. Not for the money, mind you. Just because it's always been my dream. You know what I like to do when the pressure gets too intense? I relax with a long, slow drag on Johnny's smoke. You're not a smoker. No, but you are. <laughs> and you just quit cold turkey yesterday. Care for one? What's the catch? No catch. Just fetch. <laughs> Gary, you better get a glass of water and put me out because I am on fire, baby! <laughs> love a woman who can take control. <laughs> Adios, amigo. No, you weren't lying. You, you were good. You're just warming up. Yeah. Make yourself useful and score me some Jose Cuervo, will you? It's an open bar, Nora. Well, then go and buy yourself something pretty. <laughs> One shot. <laughs> Oops. I lied. I guess it's loser, she wrote. Don't feel bad, Suji. You can have my office next door. I mean, yes, it's smaller and windowless and boast an exposed hot water pipe. But I'm sure in no time it'll feel just like home. A small, windowless, sweltering home. Damn this sweet, sweet addiction. Moment. 
Sure, Marge. What's shaking? Oh, two things. One, you're a hell of a pool player. Two, no one cares. <laughs> I want a celebrity to win my tournament, so you're gonna take a dive in your next match. Got it? You want me to lose to Trisha Yearwood? <laughs> I see we're on the same page. But no, Missy! No buts. Tonight is not your night. <laughs> So, did you get it? Did she tell you to take a dive? All right, mission accomplished. Now get out there and lose, and we are out of here. Not my night. Not my night. That's right, that's right. Now, come on, go fall on your face and make it quick. I can't. I mean, I am back in, Jake, big time. I didn't think it was possible, but I am playing better pool than I've ever played in my life. I gotta get, I gotta just get one more win, okay? You know, I just All right, Nora, 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 I know this is hard for you, okay? But th this is the perfect opportunity for you to prove something to yourself. Prove what? To prove that you can, you can control this thing, that you can lose, okay? But if, if you're gonna be, if you're gonna be a loser, you gotta think like a loser, okay? You, you gotta go out there and, and, and keep telling yourself, no, I can't. Now, you get out there and you give it the old 10% and choke like a dog on a chicken bone. Well, I guess it's just down to you and me. Don't worry, I'm a very gracious winner, unlike some people. Hey, it's for charity, right? We're all winners. <laughs> you call that a break? This isn't gonna take long. Excuse me. Oh, fudge. <laughs> Your turn. Oh. Fudge. <laughs> what? My chest got in the way. I guess uh, you apparently don't have that problem, though, do you? <laughs> no, I don't. gonna be so sad for you. I might just have to write a song about it. <laughs> hey! Why don't you write a song about that, huh? <laughs> oh, fudge, I'm disqualified. Well, you might have won, but you didn't beat me. <laughs> Not yet, I didn't. <laughs> Last time I saw a rampage like that, Bill Bixby was turning into the Incredible Hulk. I miss Bill Bixby. He was one of the good ones. To Bill. To Bill. Mm. Ah, you know, I... I gotta tell you. <laughs> most guys, they'd see what you did tonight and they'd say, not in my Porsche. <laughs> One of the many reasons I don't date guys with Porsches. Actually, I, uh, I thought you were pretty great tonight. You gotta be kidding me. You like seeing me at my worst? What can I say? Whenever I see a girl being pelted with garbage by an angry mob, you know, it just... it gets me right here. <laughs> what do you say to a, a quick game of eight ball? No? Well, yeah, I mean, if you're up for it, I, I guess it's getting late. No, no, I'm, uh, I'm up for it. All right, great. You break. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Wait, wait, wait. You know, your, your pool cue and your line, it's, uh, wait. What? Do you mind? 
but it's... Well, no, why not? Okay. Um, this might feel a little awkward, but I think it'll give you a lot more power. Just, um... Yeah. <laughs> All right. Grip this. Like... What? Right there? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. You can shoot now. <laughs> oh, uh, right. <laughs> oh, fudge. <laughs>